it is here, it's another new day. The snow is almost all melted as you can see from around me. But now it is raining slightly, so we got quite the overcast sky going on. Mitch has been busy this morning cutting up some firewood for the wood boiler. It does take a bit of time to do, but uh, you know, super nice that we're pretty much burning scraps to be able to heat the workshop behind me. You can see him here on the mini excavator moving a few logs around. Let's go inside the shop, see what Steve's, actually Steve's not in there, Steve's down there, I just saw him. Let's go inside the shop, see what Justin's doing. So there's a quick check in the shop. Steve's actually down in the office doing a bunch of paperwork, for client relations. Justin is sanding a maple table. Uh, the legs are all done for it. They were just, I guess, deciding on the color choices for the top. So we're just finishing up some sanding on that and we'll be able to finish up the top. So a little bit slower today, a little nice, a little relaxing, but uh, always a great day. So we just got off the phone with Craig from Rubio Monocoat Canada. Pretty excited, he's got some good news. We are sending Justin down for two days to the good old US of A to get some training on the whole Rubio Monocoat, uh, all their oils, the whole line of, of products, which is pretty, pretty awesome. We do actually know a lot about the product already. We have been using it for, you know, five years, maybe six years, something like that. I'd have to check back to see when I started using it. So, you know, we're, we're pretty extensive in the knowledge of, of the product, but, you know, heading down there for two solid days of training, um, it's pretty exciting. Kind of wish I was going myself. I gotta stay around here, make sure things keep rolling. <laughs> so everyone, it's actually a really sad day. This is uh, Steve, I haven't really shown him off too much on the blog, but he's the one responsible for most of the fantastic work, heading out the doors that you see, either on our Instagram, on our, uh, and now on our YouTube. Although, he's leaving me. How long has it been? <laughs> How long have you been here? Four years. Four years he's been here. Um, he was really my first full-time hire. My first real employee. That's uh, is, was uh, yeah. It means a lot. It, yeah. it, I'm gonna miss him around here. Yeah. But uh, um, I just trying to get across that you need a good team around you. A lot of people constantly ask me, you know, how do you do so much stuff? How how's your head not blow up from from all the different things going on? And really, I think the number one thing that needs to happen <laughs> is that you need to surround yourself with a team of uh, positive like-minded individuals who have drive, want to see success, yep. basically. And um, I picked a fantastic one here. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got an awesome opportunity. Where are you going? Out west. Go to the mountains. So if you don't know, we're in southern Ontario, um, just outside Toronto. We are out in the country. It is a really nice spot where we are. Yeah. But uh, it's still pretty busy, pretty busy. So Canada is a big country. 
out west, uh, we're Alberta. Is it Alberta or is it uh, British Columbia? British Columbia. British Columbia. Kelowna, right? Yeah. Yeah, Kelowna. So yeah, he's going to Kelowna. Um, his wife is uh, in the medical field, and she got offered her job there. She's been in school for it uh, for a long time, putting in a lot of hard work. Yeah. Uh, so she's got a fantastic job opportunity out there, and uh, and they're seizing it. They're taking it. They're going to move on. Um, yeah, it was uh, from the beginning. It was uh, uh, taking the opportunity from a one-man shop in here. Yeah, it's and, been quite a change. Uh, <laughs> I went from, you know, I was six years pretty much by myself. My wife's starting to help me out. We're really a one-man shop, you know. You put your hammer down there. The hammer is still there three months, four yeah. months later. Yeah. And your mess is your mess, so you got to deal with it. So it was a big change. I think yeah. it was a huge change. Yeah, a huge change. <laughs> yeah. For me, so Steve's taught, a lot, taught me a lot about, you know, having employees and, and running a business in that, in that type, of, uh, type of way because I wasn't before. Yeah. So I've learned a lot uh, having him around, that's for sure. Yeah, and then for me it was a massive change into the fine woodworking world and then uh, putting in the hours, I mean, Jesus, from the start it was doing sculpted bar stools and working till it's dark, coming in when it's dark, leaving when it's dark, but it's all worth it. There yeah. was uh, yeah, countless days because it's just having fun. It's a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle, yeah. Really, uh, yeah. woodworking, especially I think in the custom woodworking yeah. that we do, you know, it's... Yeah, you got to believe in it, Jesus. You're getting a phone call on Monday or an email and then all of a sudden, you know, you could be designing or building a table on Thursday that's a multi-thousand yeah. dollar table that's totally unique to that customer client. Yeah. And this is a day in, yeah. day out process for us. So, yeah. uh... It's, look what we've done, like the clients that we've got are like big timers and uh, <laughs> yeah some big timers we can we can drop some names but yeah we'll withhold them we, we're uh yeah we're super fortunate to have some really fantastic clients yep. um thanks to social media thanks to stuff like this yep. because um i guess uh we've become aware of us this is our marketing so thank you for watching yeah absolutely but uh this is about steve right now and uh yeah i just wanted to say i really really enjoyed having you around um you know not 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 just on a business or fabrication level, that kind of thing, but as a friend, Steve, yeah. you've been fantastic. And yeah, like I see you more than my wife. <laughs> yeah, and that's uh, right. That's definitely right. And we've had fun snowmobiling and just generally going for walks on the property. Like that's our downtime, but it's uh, the busier and busier it got, the crazier it got, but it's, uh, yeah, we still had time. You just gotta make sure you make more of it and. Uh, yeah, yeah, slow down a little bit, I slow think. Slow down, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's what we've learned, I think. Slow down a little bit, but it's hard to do, and we understand. Yeah, when you got projects coming at you for four-week deadline. Everyone wants a four-week <laughs> deadline. It seems like for yeah. pretty complicated things. Yeah. But so I'm most upset because I'm now doing this YouTube vlog thing, which I'm super excited about. I appreciate yeah, cool. everyone watching this, yeah, really and uh, Steve's not going to be included too much. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And it's suddenly, yeah, yeah that the videos are just they're through the roof. They're really cool. Yeah, yeah. So. Again, thanks everyone for, for watching. We're gonna have an awesome uh, barbecue lunch now. Yeah. My wife has set everything up. We have uh, my father-in-law's running the barbecue. So we're gonna enjoy some good times together. Yeah. It is the last day for Steve. And then you just go watch out for Canadian Woodworks West Coast. Canadian Woodworks <laughs> West Coast, watch out West Coast. Yeah, yeah. We don't know how to end this. Oh.